everybody, welcome back. We're at a completely different angle for today's video because for the first time ever on my channel, I am doing a declutter. Oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. So I'm actually gonna be going through and decluttering some nail polishes. This will probably be a couple of video series. I have a lot of nail polish. There's a lot to get through. I might swatch a few of the colors out. I have like a piece of paper here. I don't have like a color wheel. And of course, I go to do this video and those nails could be in better shape. But hey, we're gonna deal with it. We're gonna get through this, so let's get into it. So the first shade that I have up here, this is from Simple Colors. The name of the shade is Per Punk. This was a hypnotic transforming top coat. So you're supposed to put on a coat underneath and then put this on top. It's kind of this lavenderish color. I have no use for it because I don't have the bottom coat and I didn't realize that when I bought it, so bye. Next up, this one is also from Sinful Colors and the name of this shade is So Dope, spelled like taupe, D-A-U-P-E. I love this shade. It is like a nudie, like almost like a nudie gray. I mean, it's a taupe. I mean, it's taupe. You couldn't say it's not taupe. So I'm actually gonna keep this one because I do love this shade and it's not a shade you come across very often. Uh, next up here is the Simple Colors Base Coat. This is kind of a ridge filling base coat. I don't really enjoy this one. I have one that's made by Sesh that I like a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. Also from Sinful Colors, we have this color here. It's kind of almost a, an orangey, neonish color called Hazard. Um, and it is a very pretty color, but I have a lot of colors that are probably pretty close to this, so I'm gonna pass this along. Next up is coming to us from Pure Eyes. This is the shade Superstar, and it is just a, it's just a blank white. It's a really pretty white though, because it does kind of have like, um, a satinous finish to it so it almost has like a little bit of a blue iridescence to it and so it doesn't look like just white out i think i'm gonna hang on to this one for a little bit longer another one here coming from pure eyes this one is in the shade i got a confection they always have really cute little play on word names this one it's just a really pretty kind of um almost a pinkyish, lavenderish. It's got a lot of pretty iridescent silver glitters in it. Um, and it is really a pretty shade. It's kind of hard to, you know, of course, again, see on a piece of white paper. I really just, I don't tend to wear shades like this very often. So I'd rather pass this along so that somebody gets some use out of it before it goes bad. Another one here from Pure Ice. This is in the shade Drive Me Crazy. This is perfect for Halloween. I use these when I do my candy corn nails. So this orange shade is kind of part of my Halloween staple of shades. So I will be hanging on to this. Uh, another one here we have from Pure Eyes. This is the shade Dazzle Me and it is just glitter topper is basically what it is. It is a really pretty glitter topper. I mean, I'll give it that and it can get pretty thick and you can almost wear it by itself because it has like a black glitter in it. So that really gives it some color and it's got the holographic shift, but I don't wear glitters often. Um, and I don't like to wear them because they're all so hard to take off. So I'd rather give this to somebody who's actually gonna get some good use out of it. Next up here, we have this one coming to us from Essie. This is in the shade Go Go Geisha. And I think this was summer collection or spring collection last year or the year before. It's an okay color, and I have some that are kind of close to this, but I don't like to use Essie polishes as much because they shrink under my Sesh of Eat, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Got another one here from Pure Eyes. I have a lot of Pure Eyes. I really used to kind of collect these because all the names were so cute, and they're $2 fingernail polishes. This one is in the shade Lucky Charming. I love this for St. Patty's Day. It's just the prettiest darn green that has a really good gold glitter shift. Oh my goodness, and I think the cap just broke. Look at that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that on to try and get that back off. We shall see. So I'm gonna put this in, the, oh, there we go. So you've got the cap to come back on, but ooh, I'm gonna have to glue that or something, make sure it doesn't come off. But it's a really pretty green shade. 
It's got like a lot of gold reflecty glitter and it kind of poured out there if you saw that. So I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. So I might pass this on, but I might keep it. Got another one here from Pure Eyes. This one is in the shade Purple Trader. <laughs> like I said, cute little plays on names. It's just a basic purple polish shade. I mean, there's nothing really spectacular to write home about. I'm going to pass it along. Uh, we got another pretty shade here. This is from Pure Eyes. This one is called Hot Child in the Suburbs. Now this is kind of a very interesting one because it's almost kind of like a beige pink, but it does have some gold um, and silver kind of like little very micro fine gold glitter particles in it. Just gives it a really pretty shift. I'm actually gonna keep this one because I do really like this shade. Uh, next up here, this is from Sinful Colors. This was part of the Candy Johnson collection. I think this was two years ago, maybe three, when she put these out. Um, and this was one of the vintage mattes. So they are a matte polish, but I always wear a shiny top coat anyway, so they come out shiny. But the name of this shade is Licorice. Perfect name for it. It's a black polish, but it's a black that has a lot of kind of glitter reflex in it. I kind of feel like it has almost a green glitter shift to it. And I like it, it's pretty, but I think I'm gonna pass it along because I have other black polishes. Another one we have here from Sinful Colors. This is the shade No Text Red. I love this shade of red, I don't know why. There's just something really kind of special about this one, why I like it so much, I have no clue. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This one um, was also with a purpose. This was, you know, to keep you from texting while driving. I believe when you bought this, there was some type of donation made to, I'm not sure what organization, but I am gonna keep this one. Another one here from Sinful Colors. I love this shade. I already know what it is. I don't have to see the name of it, but it is vacation time. This is just, I don't know. This is a perfect, like neutral, nudie shade kind of like that rosewood nude shade and I love this one so I'm definitely hanging on to it. This one is coming to us from Pure Ice. This is the shade um, Shore Bet, S-H-O-R-E, like seashore. And this is kind of a sand color, but for me, it's just too sand. I just don't think it's very flattering. It almost kind of has like an olive undertone in it. And that's possibly why it's not flattering on me because it kind of just clashes with my olive skin tone. So definitely gonna pass this along. Another one here from Simple Colors. This is from the Halloween collection. This is called their Vampy Mattes. And this one's in the shade Undead Red. And it is a pretty red shade. It's got like little black bits in it, which they're kind of like all over the bottle. So they're kind of hard to get out, but they're only like a few little dots. It's not like big chunks or anything. Like I think you can see one like right there. It's just like a little black bit. Other than that, it's kind of a really thin textured polish. It takes several coats to build up to get opaque. Passing it along. This one here from Sinful Color is in the shade Exotic Green. And it's just a, you know, flat green shade. I mean, it's a pretty green shade and all, but I don't really wear green shades except for, you know, about once a year for St. Patty's Day. And I just don't think I'm gonna keep this one around. Okay, a couple more here. This one is from Pure Eyes. This is the shade called Don't You Wish. It's actually supposed to be um, kind of just like an iridescent, really pretty top coat. <laughs> it used to be a lot whiter looking. I think this is really old. This just needs to be thrown away. It is turned, it's turned like this weird amberish color, so it's gotta go. We've got another one here from Sinful Color. This one's kind of a burgundy-ish shade. Um, it's got a pretty good pink undertone to it, and this is the shade called Sugar Sugar. It is really pretty, but I find that um, quite a few of these Sinful Colors, the ones that have the microfine glitter in them, they're really thin in texture. So it takes several coats to build up and then that just ends up shrinking. So for me, it's a pass. Another one here from Simple Color. It's kind of a top coaty shade, just basically silver glitter. It's the name of the shade is Urban Magic, which is an adorable freaking name. But for me, it's just glitter top coat. 
It's not something I use, so I'm gonna pass it on. Kind of the same thing with this one, even though, I don't know, this one I might keep. This was also from the Candy Johnson collection uh, from Sinful Colors, and this is the shade Spoonful of Sugar. And I kind of like this top coat. I Part of me kind of wants to keep it. Then again, it is just, this is it here. It's just kind of a glitter top coat. It would take several coats of this to layer up and then it would be a nightmare to take off. So I think I'm gonna let this go. Another one here from Pure Ice. I really like this one, but I know it's getting, I think this one's too old and I'm just gonna have to throw it away, but it's the shade Scandal. And it is kind of like a chocolate cherry. It's that really good kind of cocoa chocolatey, but it's got that really good red undertone underneath it. Yeah. I think we're gonna try and get a couple more manis out of this one. This is just a simple color top coat. It's called Top Shine. I think I picked this up one day because I had run out of top coat and I just needed something. I'm gonna pass this along. It's not something I'll use. And then this shade here, um, this is from LA Colors. I think you can get these at the Dollar Tree. And I just thought this shade was really kind of pretty. And so I, you know, I just grabbed it on a whim. And it is a really pretty, pretty shade of pink. It's a Kind of a blue based pink which are my favorite kind of pinks but it takes like three four coats <laughs> so by the time i get all this on and then i get my top coat on my session v and then so it shrinks and then it's just way more trouble than it's worth so i am going to pass this on so this is everything i'm passing on here we've got three six nine 12, 15, 16 polishes that I'm going to pass on. So I'm gonna give those to somebody. I've got one I'm going to throw away, which is this one, because it's just, it's old, it's gotta go. And I'm keeping two, four, six, seven of the polishes. So these seven I'm gonna keep, those 16 have gotta go. This one I'm still kind of on the fence about. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I'm going to try and see. Well, we'll see. I'm going to try and pull the cap off. I probably won't be able to get it off again to super glue that, but we'll look at it this way. If this one doesn't make it for St. Patty's Day next year, then it's got to go. <laughs> That's it for today. So really want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I hope you like a difference uh, for me in actually doing some decluttering. Definitely give me this a uh, thumbs up. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more kind of decluttering. I have a ton of polish to go through. I promise you guys I do. It's a lot. Like I said, it takes several videos to get through this. And of course, as always, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos I have coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.